Let's take a little twirl around the rink with a morning skate edition of the Inside Edge. Here are your hosts, Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley. Here we are at Nationwide Arena once again as the Blue Jackets get set to take on the New York Islanders. Two home games remain, Jody Shelley, and four points are on the table. It all starts here today for the Blue Jackets. They obviously need these points against a team that has been playing extremely well lately. Well, yeah, this team has picked up points in its last seven games in New York Islanders. And uh, let's go back to the last game for the Jackets on Friday night where they uh, could have had the point, lost the game with two, three seconds left on the clock, uh, left the arena with a huge amount of disappointment, watched the games last night, and I feel that the optimism is back in the Jackets' court because you look at what happened. Philadelphia lost, Toronto lost. Washington got their two points, but they're still behind the Jackets. Um, definitely, uh, we, we talk about it, uh, how, how the urgency is, is so high every game, and this has to be at the highest. Well, guess what? If you said it was the high, had to be the highest last game, you were wrong, because it's tonight is a must-win for the Jackets, and they know it. So, big game and a lot of excitement around this building today. Well, a really good thing about the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs losing last night is that puts them one step closer to the door. In fact, if you look at the Toronto papers today, they have them out of the playoffs. They're only alive mathematically, but they would have to win out the final three, and then there would have to be uh, a lot of things happen here to the other teams that they're chasing for them to get into the playoffs. So that was a great thing. You mentioned Philadelphia losing. They got pounded by the Boston Bruins yesterday, 5-2 to two with Ray Emery in net. And the Detroit Red Wings lost yesterday. So it's one of those days. We've talked a lot about this. You have to help yourself. You have to take care of your own games. But sure, nice to get help once in a while, isn't it? Well, that's the thing. You think, and it's funny because I've been in this situation. And, and when I was in New York with the Rangers, uh, we had to, it came down to a shootout in the last game. It was a home-and-home home with the Flyers. And before that, like, you know, six, seven games out, I remember the feeling of, oh, we really let that go. We really messed up. Now we're done. It's over. We lost to Boston. That was a four-point game. And then you turn around, and, and the other teams all lose the next night, and you're like, oh, we're back in it. This is unbelievable. So it's such a gut-wrenching roller coaster. There's no win-win-win coast to the end. It's not going to be that way for these jackets or this league right now. It's so tight. It's so competitive. The New Jersey Devils are back in the picture big time. And uh, we looked at their schedule. Their schedule, uh, if you look at it on paper, uh, looks like they have the, the lightest load. Uh, so the Jackets have to aim for the Flyers. And, uh, you know, the Flyers played Buffalo today. I think they play Florida later on this week. Um, but they still have five games left. But the Jackets need to get on their roll starting tonight. And, uh, boy, it's an exciting time of the year. It is. What do you think? Would uh, three wins in the last five games do it? It would do it, but then you'd be – you would be um, – you need a little bit of luck with that. Four gets you in. You're in solid. If you get eight points, you're in. You're locked in. Um, it's just mathematical because uh, there's a few scenarios there that are, that are. I mean, you look at the Leafs, they've, they're running out of games. They have three left. So, yeah, I, I think three would be nice, you know, but a four would be unbelievable. All right, let's talk about the New York Islanders. You mentioned how well they've been playing lately. This is not a who's who roster. This is a who the heck are these guys roster? Because on some nights, they've been dressing 10 rookies. So they've got a lot of youth, a lot of guys looking to make uh, an impression coming up from Bridgeport of the American Hockey League. And you know, you've been part of teams like this too. When you get late in the year and you have a lot of guys getting a chance, they're going to make the most of it. Well, yeah, they, they, play a, uh, they play a fresh style. They're out there, they're loose, they're trying to prove themselves, they're trying to get trust of the coach. Uh, they want to have chemistry with their teammates. There's all kinds of things they're trying to do. And they're in the, in the NHL. They're in the National Hockey League. They're doing all the fun stuff that they've been dreaming about in, uh, while they're riding the bus down in the American League. So there's definitely a level of, ex- of excitement going into this team. they got some guys in score, too. Ocposo's a dangerous guy. Nielsen's dangerous. Uh, with Tavares out, there's guys that are stepping up. And I don't know. It's uh, they, they lost yesterday. Um, they were They were... They were in the game, I thought, for most of it, but they lost. Uh, who who they? They lost in the shootout to Washington. Yeah, they were lost in the shootout in Washington. They had the game in control, actually, and really scared the Capitals. I was watching so many games yesterday, Bob. It's hard to keep track. I was flipping around all day, but that, uh, yeah, they had control of the game. They they looked like they were going to win the game, but uh, you know that's something that the Jackets have to take note because we all know the Capitals are in, are in dire straits over there too. 
Blue Jackets just starting to hit the ice for the morning skate here today. Tonight, Fan Appreciation Night at Nationwide Arena. The gates open at 5 o'clock this evening, and the game gets underway at 6 o'clock. Blue Jackets and the New York Islanders. And that's going to wrap up this morning's Morning Skate Edition of the Inside Edge. You've been listening to the Morning Skate Edition of the Inside Edge. Come back every game day to get the breakdown from Bob McGilligan and Jody Shelley.